Hey everyone, I'm back. And it has been quite a while. Um, months? Three? Seven? Um, I have to really look at my uh, YouTube channel to see what my latest uh, post was, but it has been a while. And um, there's reasons. It's not because I've lost interest in motovlogging or even my YouTube channel or anything like that. It's just life. Um, as you know, we're still in this pandemic. Um, two years. And though things are really good, they're not great. They're not over yet. So we're still dealing with it. And that's fine. That's okay. Um, throw in other possibilities. World War Three, Maybe. I doubt it. But uh, things are... are you know, touch and go. Who's to say? But anyway, um, things have been difficult to get back to, to motovlogging. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why I motovlog is to really kind of get away from real life, get away from the social, the political, whatever is going on. happy to finally be back and uh, just kind of get caught up into you know what I've been doing so besides all the stuff that's obvious um, two years you know it's, it's been a while uh, that we've been here and uh, I've been teaching a lot um, this past semester I was teaching 11 classes um, at five different schools and uh, that just kept me incredibly busy if I wasn't teaching I was preparing to teaching or I was grading or sleeping or again commuting whatever the case might be that's what it really has been keeping me busy um, not that I haven't really thinking about coming back to motovlogging because I have and uh, I've been really planning um, so over the past two years I've actually been saving up because um, you know one of the things about um, sheltering in place as I was teaching remotely. So that really cut down on the cost of a lot of things, uh, gas, tolls, parking, um, all that really kind of adds up. But all those things, you know, were kind of eliminated and I found myself, because I'm teaching a lot, saving a lot of money. So um, that's what my aim was. I started to save up and two years later, I was able to meet my goals. And so I'm happy to say that I have purchased a new scooter. Everyone meet Miles. Miles is a Kimco AK550. Um, wasn't something I was thinking about, but um, with my current bike, easy also a chemical model, a downtown 300i, um, and I love, I love my scooter, I love, I love EV, but um, just pass over 30,000 miles on her, which, you know, some people might say that's not a lot, um, for me that, that's quite a bit, but unfortunately the downtown is a model that is no longer sold in this country, and so getting uh, part for it. Um, it's going to be difficult, if not more expensive, moving forward. And is it the bike I want to retire on? So I decided to think about something new. And um, also, unfortunately, some of the next models up. Um, Easy's 300 cc's. I wanted something a little bit more. 400 cc is looking at, uh, which was like the Kimco Exciting and some other kind of models, but. They were not easy to find. Um, there might be a dealership, but it might be an hour away or two hours away or something like that. And that was a lot to just even go and look at something. And so I never really thought about it, but then I started looking at the AK550, which I've been hearing a lot of really good stuff about. And the local scooter, scooter dealership um, in Philadelphia, not too far from where I am, had two models. And so as my semester was coming to an end, as the riding season was coming up for this year, especially around March, I decided, well, let me bring Easy in and get her serviced um, because if I want to get a new scooter, I probably would have to sell her. Um, we'll see. Talk about that later. But that's where I saw the, the new model, the AK550, and decided to look at that. And uh, very, very impressive. Um, and um, so 
after thinking about it for a while and knowing that I had the, uh, the savings for it, I decided to go for it. And whew, <laughs> it's a big difference. Um, you start to notice what you didn't have more once you move up to uh, a higher model bike. And, uh, and that's what the AK550 is. Didn't realize how much um, the downtown vibrated, rattled, if you will, because of the engine. Um, the AK is super smooth. I didn't notice how, I don't want to say bad my brakes were, but uh, the brakes on the AK are amazing. It's just a nice little velvet touch and I start to slow down. It has an ABS system. Um, just the, the, the stats on it are just amazing. Um, the Noodle dashboard has been fun. It was a little hard at first for me to pair with it, but once I got that taken care of and I started to customize that, so that's where the fun begins. And um, that's really, really cool and exciting. I'm very, very happy with that. So looking forward to that. A couple things I have to test out. Um, I've noticed on some of the uh, motor vlogs or people who have the, the 550 that depending on what sort of format the shooting uh, video, the dashboard will flash. And that might just be because of the frequency of the image being displayed on the digital dashboard versus the frame rate of the camera that is um, filming it. So I have to see if I can adjust it to get it right. Those are some of the things I'm going to work out because I don't want it to be flashing while I am motor vlogging. The, um, the ride is much smoother. Um, bumps, potholes that I'm used to sort of like encountering on my daily commute and everything. I hit it on AK-50, I hardly feel anything. It's super, super smooth. I feel it a lot more on the downtown. And again, these are the things that you notice that you didn't realize were there as much until you ride a different bike. Um, and those are some of the things that I'm seeing. Um, I feel cramped sort of more so when I'm getting on the downtown compared to after riding on the AK-50. The leg room is amazing. Um, I'm just sort of tall enough to get my feet flat on the ground when I'm riding. Um, though it kind of forces my legs apart a little bit. It's a little uncomfortable, but I can just, you know, touch my toes or balls of my feet and I'm, I'm fine. Haven't had any problems with it, so I'm, I'm good. For someone who's taller, this is probably a bike that's going to fit well for you. So uh, if you're thinking about getting it, I would really encourage you to go out and test it. See what it's like. Um, pretty good. So future projects. What am I going to do? Why did I get this? Well, again, I wanted to sort of take my motoblogging and my riding and commuting experience up to a higher level again with 30,000 miles on uh, easy with it no longer being available in terms of parts um, or even like a new bike unless it's used in this country um, the AK550 was really the the answer for that um, but I've got some things planned out first uh, in about three weeks I would say I am planning a trip to New Hampshire and I will be going up there with another fellow model blogger. I'm not going to put out any spoilers yet. That will be part of another reveal where we will meet up with a third model blogger up in New Hampshire. Um, and we'll be up there for about a week, five days, I would say about that. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So I wanted to get everything set up for that. Um, so one of the things I did is I got a new top case for uh, the new scooter. Uh, it is a shad expandable top case so it could adjust itself hold more in it it's big enough to hold two full-size uh, helmets um, things like my computer bag or if I'm taking my writing jacket I want to take it off and put it in there um, but I'm gonna need space for bringing up some of my motor blogging equipment when I go up there's still a lot of space under the seat I have space on the seat itself where I'm gonna put my cargo bag and of course now with the uh, top case tons and tons of space for storage there I'm picking up, maybe I might get a, you know, uh, a tank bag to put in the little nook um, in the front between the, the seat and the uh, steering column and dashboard and everything. Um, I haven't made a decision on that yet, but I'm right now waiting for some more mounting accessories that I want to put on the, um, at least the brake controls, uh, ways in which I can mount some um, ram mounts to attach my cameras and everything. So once that happens i'm going to be completely ready uh, as a matter of fact i got something else today um like half hour before i started shooting this um a new camera 
just came, which is really surprising because it said it would, I don't know, be like here by Wednesday or something like that. But I live near Philadelphia, which is sort of a Amazon hub uh, distribution center. So usually when I order something, I get it like two or three days before it says I'll get it. So that's always really good there. So this is really exciting. I'm going to have a big review unboxing as always for that. And for some of the other um, equipment that I've gotten, in addition to the scooter, um, motor vlogging equipment, um, cameras, a new tripod, things along those lines there. So I'm really looking forward to that. So fun's going to begin. This is exciting. Um, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to start motor vlogging. I got the full summer ahead of me. Uh, yes, I got some trips planned. Uh, I got summer school, but that's not going to be a big deal. Um, but this is exciting. This is now something I've been planning for at least two years. Um, and it's happening. And uh, can't wait to see what happens next. Thanks for watching.